Hello, everybody! Hope uh, you're all doing well. So, hello, hello. Welcome on back, uh, everyone and Jen. <laughs> Yay! We're here to continue on good old Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. On the docket, at the very least for today, is we just we're gonna be finishing up the second half of Balance, right? Preferably, I don't know how late you're gonna be. I'm feeling much better today, so if we don't get too uh, sidetracked, perhaps you could do Balance and Reflection. But I'm not gonna hold our hands on that. All right, can I hang my fist to it? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's fair. At the very least, we'll get through balance, and if we're both still feeling fine and it's not too late, maybe we could get into reflection. That sounds like a good sounds point. Sounds good. Alright, so, uh, what happened in balance part one again? I'm trying to remember exactly. Uh, Sayori so is starting to read Natsuki's manga because they all did a day where they talked about their like interest or special interest really um and sayori is getting a bit too clingy and it's driving natsuki away but it's monica's fault because monica um kind of supported or encouraged sayori to be that clingy <laughs> And at the same time, Sayori's feeling like Natsuki is being dismissive of her. Like, not actually wanting to associate with her at all. Just kind of, like, putting up with her. Yeah. I think she's fawning. The trauma response. Sayori's reading... No, Natsuki's manga, Brozard! Natsuki's manga! So, how you doing, Brozard? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Diet Coke? No, it is, um, Selection Orange, uh, Pop. Yes. Huh. Yeah. We have no cola left in the house, nor ginger ale. I was gonna say, you need to go to Costco, but I don't think you have a Costco near you. Uh, the closest one is, like, an hour or so away, if not a little longer. Hi, Nevermore. Hi, Nevermore. How's it going? Just got the notification. I'm gonna make some food. So, hi, BRB. No worries, no worries. Get that food. Did everybody eat? I know me and Jen have. Is everyone else eating? I will turn the stream around until everyone's eaten. <laughs> <laughs> do your parents also do that in the car with you? Oh, not for years. Oh. They stopped doing that after we, I think, finally hit double digits. Oh, my mom was a bus driver. She did that constantly. <laughs> oh, I, can only... I appreciate that Natsuki did too. Pardon? I appreciate that you got our girl Natsuki up. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about the body pillow last time. <laughs> I, I, it's like, all right, I gotta set her up this time for sure. <laughs> so now she's here, over my shoulder, like a parrot. Picasso. <laughs> Tried the first one today, it was pretty good. All right, nice, nice. I saw a really cool hack about Costco salmon, about oh. how you can make it, like, because the idea of sushi grade is a bit of a marketing ploy. You just put it in, like, a, br like a salty, briny wash for, like, uh, maybe a half hour, an hour, and then you put it in the fridge for five hours, and then it's sushi grade, like for any meat, for for any sushi salmon or sushi, like meat, but fucking fish meat, fish, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's a meat. Technically, I guess you could say. Yeah. So I've never done that, but uh, yeah. It's good to know. Rosa does it too. Cool. Do I get to pass it yeah. along to my sister then? say poke bowls yeah i'm definitely gonna pass that on to my sister because she literally, she'll really roll her own sushi because we can't get it up here that isn't you know the generic stuff from a supermarket uh, yeah yeah, yeah. though 
bentos and those quick to go bentos. Yeah. Sushi's like really easy to make yourself too. Like so easy. Buy all the stuff here. For it, I I know we sell the sushi seaweed stuff, the strips of it. Yep. Okay, we ready to get going? Yeah, I guess I believe we are. So we're picking up right up to balance uh, part two, see where it takes us. And begin side story. I like how it always flashes just Natsuki hands up like that. It's so funny. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Sayori, who usually buys her lunch, is making her way to the cafeteria like any other day. The clamor and bustle of the students is drowned by Sayori's impeccable skill of zoning out. However, her imagination is momentarily interrupted, interrupted by the glimpse of a familiar pink-haired girl. Hey, that's Natsuki! I never run into the other club members around the school. Natsuki! Sayori stands on her tiptoes and waves. Natsuki, who's busy walking and chatting with her friends, doesn't notice Sayori at first. She still hangs around with those assholes? I was gonna say, what friends? <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. Sorry, yeah, Natsuki. she comes from a house where she that's how she expects to be treated though. Yeah. Well, I mean she's clearly gonna be making better friends now here. Yeah. Then she glances over in Sayori's direction. Sayori waves enthusiastically. <gasps> Following her friends, Natsuki quickly ducks around the corner. You didn't see it, but my mouth was gaping wide open. I'm so <laughs> upset and disappointed in Natsuki right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Sayori is being very, very clingy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel her. So these two need to have a big talk. And then a hugging CGI. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! She definitely saw me. Monica is the first to arrive to the club meeting, then Natsuki. Sayori, having glanced through the window to see Natsuki already inside, is unable to work up enough courage to enter. Natsuki's been so distant with me. I was stupid to think she ever wanted to be friends. She only got excited because she got to share her manga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But aside from that, she doesn't even like me. I should just go home today. No! Uh, <laughs> fucking Yuri. <laughs> Sorry, but do you plan on going inside? No! Why? I'm sulking! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for bothering you. Excuse me. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> no, don't leave me! Oh. Uh, I'll stay here then. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. I saw her at lunch today, so I waved and called out to her, but instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. 
My planet needs me. <laughs> really? Not bad. Hey! Sorry, I'm sorry, that was a joke. It just sounded like something stupid that I would do from anxiety. From anxiety? Well, I just don't like attention being drawn to myself. Oh. Well, that makes sense based on the person you are! But Natsuki isn't shy like that at all! I thought we were friends. But it feels like every day, she's just trying to distance herself more, instead of get closer. It makes me feel like she was only spending time with me during the club, because I was reading her manga. But she doesn't actually want to be friends with me. <laughs> Welcome back, Nevermore. Doing, I'm doing okay. Uh. Well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of context here. Was she in the middle of anything when you approached her? No, she was just walking with her friends. With her friends. Yuri pauses for a moment. How do I put this? Sayori, you're very fond of your friends, right? You always want to be spending time with them? Of course! I don't think there's anything more important to me. I mean, the best parts of my day are always with my friends. Besides that, I really hate being alone, so... You hate being? Sayori nods. We're very different people. I cherish my time alone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. So I think... Well, I was trying to have alone time, and it was being threatened with an interruption, then... It just would not make me very happy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Sayori! Oh. Stop! <laughs> Dial me! You dodo bean! <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't have to do with Natsuki! She was already with her friends, not trying to be alone or anything. How about you, Nevermore? How you doing? <laughs> no, I think it's similar. It's, well, we're all friends in the club. But we have our own lives outside of the club as well. If you think about it, making new friends isn't some casual occurrence that happens on a daily basis. A friendship is an invitation to intertwine your lives together. But the capacity at which each person is ready to do that might be different. There are friends who just like to have fun together, and others who talk every day and share every detail of their lives with each other. I think when establishing a friendship, it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. I mean, we don't really know that much about Natsuki's life outside of the club. It could be that she simply needs to make friends at her own pace, rather than jump head start or head first into a new commitment. But... That means I really was bothering her? 
I just really wanted to be good friends with her, so I treated her like one. Was I actually hurting her? Different great greatness. Skyrim cool. character, which I'm building for life. Sure, and watch as an AI co host, which we're going to talk to. The AI co host helped me build a pretty. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. It's actually pretty neato. Another character? Are they part of your uh, Guardians uh, Skyrim? Or is this uh, completely unrelated? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. My insight was really only based on what I understand about my own needs. And Natsuki and I are completely different, so... Why was I so selfish? Oh my god, Sayori. Even if all that is true, then it still means I hurt her. I think I messed up. Yuri, with you, I think I was really careful to understand your needs when I was becoming friends with you. But I wasn't careful at all with Natsuki. Because she already seemed really social. Sarah related the Guardians of Skyrim have gone into a new generation now. The Guardians of Dark Powers have passed on to the next gen. This is air number two. Okay. Yeah, you did say this was uh, the like the next generation of them uh, before. It's like, okay, the, this this new character is part of that. Okay, cool, cool. And of course, Sayori's gonna be, you know hard on herself for little things. We know what she's like. Yeah. Unfortunately. Who... The conflict was between Monica and Natsuki, but Yuri was having conflict too, right? Was it Yuri and Sayori? Uh... Uh, Monica's and Natsuki's conflict was the... Natsuki really pushing the manga thing on to, you know, to, into the club. Sayori and Yuri had a conflict because I think I think Sayori was actually coming on a little bit strong with Yuri, too. Yeah, she was actually going on pretty strong with uh, Yuri, like, really trying to yeah, read that book I feel and like everything. I'm, yeah, this is like a reoccurring issue that she's having. Yeah. Like you said earlier, Monica Blay is like partially to blame here. She even said it herself. She's kind of the one to nudge Sayori to do this. Mm -hmm. In a way. Yeah. Huh. Just to, to see where this goes. Well, I guess maybe she thought she could be able to get away. Like she said right here, Natsuki seemed a little more social. Social. So she could probably get away with just coming on a tad bit stronger, like what she initially did with Yuri. Which, I mean, technically she is. Technically she is. Uh, Natsuki is a bit more social. She has friends. Oh, that sounds so sad. Nevermore. <laughs> they didn't even put beans on it. <laughs> a firebender, you could just warm up that toast. Oh my god. <laughs> that is exactly how you like it. Okay, well, I'm glad you're having your food exactly how you like. <laughs> I say that. I used to eat frozen french fries and, like, frozen hot dogs and stuff, so I feel like I can't judge here. You had a frozen? I would just eat raw hot dogs right out of the packet. Well, that, then you have to wait for them to thaw. I mean, these were already thawed sitting inside the fridge. Yeah, we, we didn't thaw ours. We just took them right from the freezer. Damn. I think my toaster is set to, like, a two or a three. I think My mine... side. My side. <laughs> I think mine's a two and Zirash's is a four. I think mine might, be, might have been sitting on a three. Now we got, like, a toaster oven thing, and I just haven't bothered to learn how to use it. So I just haven't had toast. Ooh, okay, when you figure it out, okay, mm -hmm. tuna melt. 
Tuna melt? Get the bread. Yeah. And then you like toast it a bit and then you put some tuna and then melt the cheese on top of that. Okay. So fucking good. I did it in my broiler a couple weeks ago. Hmm. And whew, so good. But with a broiler, it was like in there for a minute and a half and then it was done. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Toast out of the oven with three large dollops of butter that were melted into them while baking. Yeah, done. Now, you get, you guys, preheat your whole oven for that. You guys are making for me like hungry a... for toast. <laughs> it's 7 30 at night and I want toast. <laughs> and I just ate. <laughs> I'd have a toaster strudel. Also, do people actually toast their Pop Tarts? No, I don't. Do you? No. <laughs> I used to as a kid. I was told that's what we were supposed to do. Yeah, no, fuck that. In, <laughs> in high school, middle school, I got lazy, and I was like, this is so much better. <laughs> yep. I had to limit how many I had because of my milk allergy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I I'm, cool. I'm I'm lucky I don't have any kind of food allergy like that. At least one that hasn't appeared. I'm so used to just having whatever. I don't know how to do if I had to limit my milk intake. My teas would get very, very different. Definitely more on the lighter side of my toast spectrum. I want it to be crispy, but I still want the inner part of it to be soft. That's like perfect toast for me. I don't toast want... mine to the point where it doesn't look toasted, but it's just warm enough to melt the margarine or the butter onto it. Mm. Yeah, nothing, nothing tastes better than just that butter-soaked toast. Other than maybe French toast. Got me there. I will take French toast any time, any day. I should really learn how to actually make French toast. I think I know how, it's just I've never actually tried. You know what? French toast with nutmeg or with cinnamon, guy? Cinnamon. Also cinnamon, or are you in the nutmeg category? Yeah, I was watching a TikTok the other day, and the guy made it with nutmeg, and I was like, what the fuck is this? He made it with like five things, none of which were cinnamon. Huh. Texas toast is just like the really thick slices, right, Brozard? At least that's what's advertised as Texas toast here. It's, yeah, it's just bread that's been sliced uh, at double the size. I usually have that, and it's like Texas Toast garlic bread. Yep. Usually get the frozen stuff and have that with like uh, as a side for pasta and everything. I think that 
Well, there was one time you told me something about the way I saw things in my head being different from reality. It's easy to automatically jump to the worst case scenario, but I think it's more likely that Natsuki doesn't harbor any ill feelings towards you. So I think if we were to be to realistically consider the situation and how it would cause someone to feel, um, I'm bad at this. I'm sorry. You're a lot better at me than me at things like comforting and reassuring people. Suddenly, Sayori gives Yuri a gentle hug. Uh. <laughs> um. Why did you go uh, to that? Well, I don't feel in my head it wasn't gentle at all because it's Sayori. <laughs> yeah, I immediately thought it was just big old bear hug immediately. <laughs> yeah. So it was like the impact. I've definitely had those ones where it's like, oh my god, you're like cracking my back. I hate this. I could use someone to crack my back right now. Oh my god. It is killing me. You're the best, Yuri. Give me three hundred dollars, and I'll step on it for you. All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna need a few hours and a few hundred dollars just to get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for bur burdening you with this. You're trying so hard for me. You're such a sweetheart. Upper, or lower back, lower back. just it's not a burden I enjoy listening to others and my friends deserve happiness Sayori beams well I think I'm gonna give Natsuki some space she should do what she wants never would like to know because I am always stressed out and that means I always have upper back pain. It's more like the shoulders slash traps but you know. It's essentially upper back. Yeah. Wait, that sounded, that came out weird. Yes, essentially it is. <laughs> and she still does, and she does still want to be friends? Then I'll learn her needs, and I'll match her boundaries. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's best. I wish I didn't feel so awful and guilty. It makes me feel desperate, like I need to make it up to her by trying to make her happy. God, I can't read today, apparently. But when is that never the case? That's not what she needs. I just have to tell myself that. It hurts. But I guess it means I still need to grow. I love mindset. Hmm? I love that growth mindset. Mm-hmm. This teacher approves. <laughs> only get better. Yeah, we got the we got the teacher's seal of approval, everybody. I really want to grow as a person. If it's to be better for my friends, I want that. That's very mature of you, Sayori. <laughs> I'm mature! <laughs> Can I the TikTok audio? Audio? Sorry, I have hiccups. Sorry. I am an adult. I buy my own groceries. Am I an adult? I buy my own <laughs> like, oh I don't know what the rest of it is. Oh but. my god. I am an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> oh, it, 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 it perfectly matches Sayori. Oh my god. <laughs> I can imagine her doing that. <laughs> Sayori hops up and down on her toes.
Okay. So, does this mean that you'll be going home after all? Sayori shakes her head. I need to be here to show her that I respect her space. I'll just spend the club by myself today. Yuri nods in understanding. You can go in first. Okay. I really need a uh, Baron to demonstrate this for me. Okay. So sit down in front of something that has a bar. Reach your arms out. Try to hold it so the inner side of your arm is facing out. Your shoulder blades tense together. You're doing it right. Hold it for about 10 seconds. It rewires your brain to think the pain is where you tense your shoulder blades. I don't really have a bar. But, um... Okay, so it's... Sit down in front of... Uh, like, how low can my chair go? Oh, not nearly low enough. Can you go? How low can you go? Can you go? Can you go down low? All the way to the flow? I mean, probably. I uh, don't know if I'll get back up. <laughs> Bring it to the top? Like you're never gonna stop? The bar <laughs> needs to be behind you? Oh. Uh, also, just like putting your arm up, like your body is perpendicular to the wall, and you put your arm behind you with your hand against the wall. And you try to bring it above your head, but your body still has to be perpendicular. I think I'm sort of doing it other than my inner. I don't know, I feel like I am tensing my shoulder blades. Ow. I don't know what I was reaching for. <laughs> I think I grabbed stars. <laughs> so take is your therapy advice over text. It's my life. I'll do what I want. His body is choice. <laughs> okay, so you need to reach behind you to grab that bar while tensing your Shoulder blades like together. Okay, that makes sense. You sort of saw my demonstration. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like on stream. It probably looked terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Okay, okay. You know, I don't have any kind of bar around here to properly do that. I was trying to reach for the edge of my desk without grabbing my keyboard. Uh, Shelf. That could have been bad if I pulled that out by accident. <laughs> Imagine the views, Baron. Could have clipped it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you're blocking the door. Oh! Sayori steps aside. By the way... Before Yuri enters the club room, Sayori interjects. You said that you and Natsuki are completely different, but I don't really think that's true. I think you're actually really similar in a lot of ways. Yuri smiles and shakes her head. See, it's absurd. You're very silly sometimes. Yuri turns and enters the club room. After a moment, Sayori follows. Ah, she decided to go. Yep, she just wanted Yuri to go in first. Club room is quiet. When Sayori walks in, Natsuki glances in her direction. Sayori smiles and gives Natsuki a quick wave before sitting down across the room. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Sayori decides it's best to continue the manga she was reading, so she pulls it out. 
However, it looks like Natsuki isn't reading today. She has a sheet of paper in front of her and is tapping a pen against her desk, staring at it. Oh, are we writing today? Monica. Oh, sorry, that was my quiet voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we writing today? She she asked calmly. <laughs> <laughs> Monica speaks in a quiet voice, unwilling to disturb the peace of the club room. She kneels down at Natsuki's desk. Uh, hey! Natsuki pulls the sheet closer to her and covers it with her arms. Sorry, I didn't mean to peek. Whatever. I just wanted to see how everything was going. Fine. Natsuki replies dismissively. She glances over at Sayori, who is focused on her manga. Monica follows Natsuki's gaze. Uh, sorry, Brandon, I've lowered back pain tips. We usually su suffered our cramp relief heat pads. I mean, I've been dealing with just lower back pains every now and again for quite a while. They haven't, they haven't acted up like well before I moved, but just like the last few days, it's just been really kicking my ass. Might just be the job finally catching up to me with all the crap I gotta lift. You gotta lift with your legs. I, I do lift with my legs, that's the problem. Shit's just heavy and awkward. <laughs> and constantly going up and down a ladder too? Ugh, no fun. A lot of lower I back was issues. Say that. Yeah. Sorry. Down and hamstring issues. Yeah, if your hamstrings are really tight, then it's gonna be a lot harder on your back. What are hamstrings again? They're like the back of your thighs. Oh, maybe. I have haven't been able to walk very comfortably for a little bit. Good old wart on my damn uh, foot. Bottom of it. Yeah, and uh, I finally came off today because I've been putting stuff on it. Finally came off, so I've been walking around with essentially a hole in my foot. That's fun. Just gotta wait for that to heal. <laughs> can you touch your toes without bending your legs? I can touch my toes without bending my legs. I could, I could demonstrate if you really want to see. <laughs> I can touch my toes without bending my legs. That's something I know I can do for a fact. No, I'm good? Cool, cool. No one wants to see me bend over or on stream anyway. Uh, Nevermore apparently does! <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> Gotta do the bend and snap! I don't have the bust for the snap. You don't have to have a bust for a snap. Well, everyone who did the bend and snap in that movie had a bust. That's because it's Hollywood. They all have busts. <laughs> it's not about the bust. It's about the curvature of the back and the way you snap your hair back. I don't have hair to snap back. <laughs> eh? Well, you still have the back you could arch, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, maybe later. <laughs> maybe later, at the end, I'll bend and snap for everyone for the hell of it. I've done more embarrassing shit on stream. <laughs> what is this dance, monkey dance? Apparently. <laughs> I am the monkey, I mean, my name is fucking Baron Bananas. I think she's mad at me. How come? I'm busy right now. Ask me later. Monica falls silent. Natsuki looks back down at her paper. She inches her hand away from the top margin, allowing Monica to see. Ooh. It says, 
to Sayori. Understanding, Monica smiles. She places a hand on Natsuki's shoulder and whispers softly. I'm proud of you. Natsuki looks away, but makes no motion to remove Monica's hand. Monica gives Natsuki's shoulder a quick squeeze before standing back up and pulling away. Warm up to the bend and snap by ratcheting. Oh my god. Yeah, googling ratcheting. <laughs> Do I dare ask? I think it's about to get real appropriate up, appropriate up in here if we do that. Hey yo. <laughs> well, I'm. Oh boy, great. Right. Well, I'm looking. Ratcheting, of course. I'm just. I don't person. Okay, I know what ratchet. I sort of know what ratchet is. Oh god, yeah, I know what a ratchet business thing that is. Whatever. <laughs> Saw a video and it explained absolutely nothing. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let you know the toe touch dare under one condition. Oh god. What's the condition? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna hear more Agumon? Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> There's the redemption, you gotta redeem it. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, voice acting mini skit. I mean, the mini skit is two characters. Do voice for five minutes. Do the Agumon voice. <laughs> <laughs> I could do Agumon voice for five minutes. Bear in mind, if I if I'm voicing a different character, it's not going to be in the Agumon voice. But that will take up the five minutes. But I also just won't be quiet during those five minutes because that's you know just that's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bullshit loophole I do not want to exploit. I feel like that's a bullshit loophole, Baron, and that you should do every single character and all the narration in Agumon voice because you got me to do the other one, so... Really? You don't want me to sound like this the whole time? I don't know if you want that. I don't know if I want that. That seems a bit much. <laughs> Are you happy, Nevermore? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good lord. I didn't imagine the Agumon voice would be something I'm known for. <laughs> now you're free from the tote. Uh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> the end of the club meeting passes. Yuri has already departed. So has Monica, after checking on Sayori and Natsuki to ensure they wouldn't stay too late. Sayori was determined to finish her manga volume before heading out, since the end was approaching. However, with Natsuki also staying late for an unknown reason, a silent tension hangs in the air. After finishing the volume, Sayori brings it to the closet to put it away. She slides it back onto the shelf while Natsuki watches. Then Natsuki gets up and puts it back <laughs> out in order to return it to its proper location. Oh my god, in order to put it in the I feel that. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> like, no. Wrong spot. No, thank you. <laughs> yep. Sorry. 
I didn't know where it's supposed to go. Fine. The two fall silent again, avoiding eye contact. They both look like they're about to say something, but neither can break the silence. A moment passes. Well... I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow! <laughs> There's streams without fun joke stuff? <laughs> they don't have <laughs> Agumon voice. <laughs> the streams don't have Agumon voice. Mine might be the only one. The only one. Sayori turns away to hide her pained expression, then walks away from the closet. If there was any proof Natsuki no longer wanted to be friends, this was it. Defeated, Sayori carries herself out of the club room. Once in the hallway, Sayori takes a deep breath and hits her palms against her cheeks to clear her head a little. Um... Suddenly, Natsuki's stammering voice calls from behind. Natsuki? Startled, Sayori turns back around to face Natsuki. Natsuki fidgets and anxiously continues with a shaky voice, a shaking voice. I have a lot of things to say. I mean <laughs> lesbians with you. <laughs> yeah. I've oh. never had a girlfriend. Oh. Or sorry, I've never had a boyfriend. Oh, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Me too! But... You go first. Natsuki bites her lip and can't stay still. First of all... She cuts herself short, struggling to continue. Trying to force the words out, she stamps her foot and hops up and down a little. I'm sorry for the thing I did at lunch, and I'm sorry for just being kind of mean lately. It's really hard for me to like... I mean, I'm not good with things that make me uncomfortable. Especially when it comes to like... Like, feelings and stuff. So... Face burning, Natsuki clams up again. Instead of continuing, she simply holds up a sheet of, of paper for Sayori to take. Best place in the world. I love my bedroom. It's full of bright colors and soft things. The sunlight shines in and makes everything sparkle. It's the best place in the world. It has all my treasures, all my books, my collections, my memories. All of my dreams are born in this room. It's the best place in the world. It has all my secrets, all my failures, my fears, my feelings. Sometimes, it feels so fragile that the door will break at the slightest touch, but it's still the best place in the world. But when someone knocks, I get scared. I brace my arms against the loose hinges. Please don't break. Don't come in. I'm not ready. It's my best place in the world. The knocking won't stop. I block the door with furniture. I peek through the keyhole and I panic. I'm trapped in the best place in the world. I'm not ready to share my favorite place. I need to clean my secrets and 
make my bed to hide my nightmares. I need to touch them to put them away, to see them again. I have so much to do and I'm scared. I'm not ready. But it's still my favorite place. I still want to share it, however long it takes, if you wait patiently. I'll eventually open the door, and I'll show you the best place in the world. It's a poem. But I thought... Well, I sucked it up so that I could work things out with you. So just... Just be happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Sayori smiles deeply. From the bottom of her heart. I'm happier than I could express. I feel so awful, but I'm so happy that you would do this for me. I actually realized before the club meeting today that I made a mistake. I got so caught up in the chance to get closer to you that I forgot to think about what you wanted that we probably have different ways we'd like to make friends. Uh. What would you like to love from the top of your heart instead of the bottom of your heart? Uh, very fleeting? Very fleeting uh, feeling? I don't know. Yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Felt like the friendship stuff. I mean, it's okay. I understand, so you don't have to force yourself to talk about it. Your poem did a good job. Just the t Jesus Christ, Brozard. <laughs> <laughs> so don't force yourself if you're not ready yet, okay? Natsuki nods. You don't have to feel like you did anything wrong. It was my fault, and I'm sorry. I wasn't mad at you today, or anything like that. I actually felt really guilty and wanted to give you space. I was thinking it's silly that I just approach you all the time, and that I should just let you approach me when you want to. Just... whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'll respect that from now on. Friendship should always start with those things with the right balance. Natsuki nods again. Thing about that? Hmm? Well, I don't want to have to approach you all the time either. I just want it to be balanced, like you said. Sayori nods. I understand. We'll make sure of that together then. Anyway. Now that the two of them have found common ground, Natsuki finds it finds it easier to speak more freely again. not gonna like be sharing my poems all the time now or anything like that but I guess it wouldn't hurt to do once in a while only the ones so you better like them because otherwise I might change my mind <laughs> there's the <this. laughs> 
I like anything you do, Natsuki. And they were roommates. They were yeah. very, very good friends. <laughs> Gal pals. <laughs> Buddies. <laughs> I was just saying. More importantly, I have to tell you about my new boyfriend. Wait, well, what? <gasps> I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh! From the manga! Alright, she shipped herself with somebody. <laughs> nice. That's so cute! Wait, I need to guess who it is. You definitely won't be able to guess. The two walk down the hallway together. Oh my god, we have so much to talk about. Darn, I should have told you to save the last two chapters so I could see your reaction to the big reveal. Ah, oh, you wanted wanted to enjoy it with me. Yes. That's so cute. Oh, Baron, you might know this. Hmm? What's the what's the anime? I think it ends with Monogatari. That like has the weird toothbrushing scene in it. Oh. I think yeah. that is Nisei Monogatari. Nisei? Okay. Nisei, I believe so. Uh, I'm gonna make sure of that. Monogatari. I, I'm literally gonna go and Google Monogatari toothbrush. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, it's Nisei Monogatari. Episode 8. <sighs> Why did you want to know that all of a sudden? Uh, thinking of that really like erotic tooth, like awkward toothbrushing scene in the movie Bring It On the other day, when she's like brushing her teeth in the same bathroom as the like stepbrother of the character who plays like the like rebel girl that's actually played by the same actress that plays Faith in Buffy. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Just, just weird anime moments and how that scene from Bring It On felt very similar to me despite being much more understated. Because <laughs> it was just them brushing their teeth and him being like really messy about it and her being like very like coy and shy. <laughs> As a Nisei Monogatari, it's supposed to be something totally different. Yeah, it's like yeah, just yeah. Some kind of showing vulnerability shit, and then nearly goes into incest. Nearly. Yeah, Thought nearly. Nearly. Uh, his sister was getting hot and bothered by it. He was starting to get hot and bothered by it, and um, she basically said the go ahead for him to reach out and cop a feel, and then his other sister walked in. <laughs> And stop both of them from doing what they were doing just by the virtue of walking in the door. <laughs> Would you brush someone's teeth if they asked you to? Probably. Be... I have to brush my dog's teeth every day. Mm. She bites me all the time. Like not on like not on purpose. It's just like she's like opening and closing her mouth a lot, trying to like lick uh, the yeah. toothpaste <laughs> off of her teeth. So she like has little sharp teeth and they bite me and I don't like it. <laughs> it's definitely not very sexy. <laughs> Do you definitely not? It'd, it'd be very awkward to do on another person. Yeah, it would be. So when you do it with yourself, you know how far back you can really put the toothbrush to, you know, like just how far you can go without, you know, jamming it in, jamming it, you know, like to the back of your throat or the side of your like, jawline there. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I mean, your sister would know it's the baby, right? She has to do that to the baby. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the dresser does have uh, some teeth now, and uh, I think the other one is might be starting to teeth. 
I could be wrong. She might be too young to have teeth. Not a hundred. Well, usually they get them the earliest at like six months. She's approaching six months. Mm. She's on. I gotta look at my sister's Facebook quick. She posted a monthly photo of her in the uh, crocheted Disney princess outfits my mom made. So cute. Yeah. Okay, she's four months old. Yeah, so she won't have teeth yet. Yeah, not yet. Four months, she's Ariel. <laughs> she had to tie. They had, they had to tie hers, and even Josephine's. They had to tie their like legs just kind of together so they don't stick their toes through the crocheted uh, tail. It's adorable. <laughs> Once they eventually get to Mulan, I gotta drag out my one figure uh, dragon because it just fits. It's the only red dragon we have. It's like, all right, here's Drag Redder from fucking Common Rider Ryuki. Yeah, that works as a Mushu stand-in. They're both the Chinese dragons. <laughs> Just ignore the fact this one has a sword on his as his tail. <laughs> uh, should you say this one? Uh. Um, oh, shush. Hey, Technity. Hi, Technity. <laughs> I think that was it for that one. It's done. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. For... Oh, we got mail. That. <gasps> mail. What do we got? Like what do we got? Ryan. Ethics. Simply put, it's not our job to arbitrarily decide upon some code of ethics just because we're the first ones to do this, to our knowledge. That's the government's job to figure out, long after we've made enough headway for it to no longer apply to us. It's fundamentally flawed to apply ethical reasoning to this anyway, because humanity's code of ethics is based upon nothing more than our knowledge and understanding of life forms similar to ourselves. We don't have ethics for killing bacteria or plants, only for the creatures that we can convincingly project our emotions onto. The humans in our virtual machines operate completely differently from us on a fundamental level, and therefore should not be taken any more seriously than a machine that is programmed to print. I feel sad. We're engineers, not philosophers. Ooh. Ooh, age old debate. Okay, I see the body pillow is back in its rightful spot. Indeed. As it should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does everyone else see Ex Machina? Ugh. Mm, don't think I did. Oh! Hollywood recommend! It's really good. Uh, who's in that one again? Uh, um, Donald Gleason, the Oscar something something who plays Poe DeCameron in Star Wars. Oh, Oscar Isaac. Yeah. And, um, oh my god, I forget the girl's name. She also has some really cool roles. Um, X. X Machina, Machina. Cast. Uh, Alicia Vikander. She plays Ava. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like, all the acting in that film is so good. Okay. I loved it. And there was a review I read and the woman was like it's so anti-feminist I walked out of the film near the end and I was like so you didn't see the fucking end <laughs> oh boy anyways that's very related to the whole like do, can, machines can make us feel a lot of things but does that mean that like you know you know like some people watch the movie and they're like no she's like the bad guy and I'm sitting there going like how is she the bad guy? Look at her living situation. That really seems like the only logical thing to do to me. Hmm. But... Okay. Yeah. It's good. Highly recommend. Put it on that list of all the things that I tell you to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like The Expanse. I still need to watch that. Just to see totally not me in it. <laughs> Almost gets better every season. I okay. think you'd like it. I probably and would. also, Polly rep in the last two seasons, so oh. I'm biased. That's interesting. Uh-huh. So, 
Uh, the only picture... Oh, oh, okay, we got a few more here. Okay, one of all of them. That's fine, that's just all their individual ones kind of thrown together. What the hell? <laughs> that's <I'll>... so cute! <laughs> Do you want me to make this the background? Or are we gonna leave it? We gotta leave it, but that's so cute! Oh my god, Natsuki, you're just adorable! <laughs> Look at my baby doll. <laughs> my princess. Okay, so this last one here would be Yuri's third background, because we already have Sayori's and Monica's as well. Mm. Okay. Uh, poem you poem. read. Mm -hmm. From Balance. Sip. Oh, we got all of Natsuki's poems, so we got uh, one, oh. another one. Go ahead. Do you want me to do this one, too? Go ahead. Okay. I named my pen the Expression Express. My feelings aboard with a ticket to you. No room for stammers, no lies, no extra steps, no compromise. Station screaming by, attendant saying hi. One ticket to you, please and thank you. Take a headphone and a doze. No bumps in the rails, just thumps in my heart. Hey. Uh, hiccups. <laughs> and hoops in my letters and clouds in the sky and dreams in your eyes. Hey, wake up! The train has arrived. Expression Express. Destination you. Choo-choo! Oh my god. That is amazing. I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> This isn't too bad of a CG. Yeah. Like, Natsuki looks really cute. Yeah. But I wish it was spicier. <laughs> I wish it was spicier, like, uh, like that was, and yeah. like how that like, they're was. They're so far away, you know? Yeah. Or, like, Natsuki looking lovingly in <laughs> Monica's eyes. Like, the, 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 the distance there makes sense, but, yeah. Get anything else? Probably not. Yeah, nothing else yet. All right. All right. It's been about a little over an hour. Feeling up to try another one? Yep. Right. And Brozer, even if you don't want to finish that season, I would still recommend watching season five. It is very good. Oh. But, yeah. Oh, this one's Yuri and Monica. Lame. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, which, 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 who do you want to be out of the two? Um, we'll just see. I was doing fine with the, when I was doing Natsuki and Yuri. Mm -hmm. That didn't bother me. So we'll just see how it goes. That's okay with you. All right. Yeah. If you want more time, like if you want more lines, just let me know and you can kick in at any point. Okay. No worries. One second while I eat this celery stick. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Am I bothering you? Huh? No. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Hmm. Um, hmm. That makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're more ready to socialize, even if it, take, if it takes a little bit of prodding. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work, so it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or there are too many people, or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Yuri glances across the room at Sayori and Natsuki. 
Sayori has her head cocked back and her mouth open, trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air, but the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Oh my god. <laughs> Me, I can never catch anything. Yeah. In my mouth. Me neither. Maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookie. What a waste. They're re they've really become good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. Sayori seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I suppose it works well. Yeah. Come to think of it, you and I haven't had many chances to have to, to talk one on one, have we? Though that may be partially my fault since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I've probably formed a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me, at least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about during times like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I... I just read. Oh. But I like it that way. It feels nice to be carried off again after a morning of classes. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I've read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of the series. There are still two more books after this one. I guess those long books suit you well, since you spend so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with depth and maturity. Okay, so no, uh, Dr. Seuss? Okay, he has some stuff that is very deep. Fair. There's, there's a lot you can, uh, g there's a lot you can really discern from, uh, Sam I Am. Uh, there's this one about the Cold War that one of my high schools did for a play, for, like, the Christmas concert. It's all about, like, how, uh, like, the, the threat of nuclear war and, like, weapons getting better and better and just, like, at the end everybody's wiped out and no one's won. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Goddamn, Dr. Seuss. Oh, yeah? Even, like, romance? Well... There are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh, come on, Yuri. You know what I mean. Why is she Australian now? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that copy of Fifty Shades in your book bag? That's just always my go-to. You don't know any other books? I don't know any other books like that. Okay. Me neither. <laughs> Monica lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. So I won't tell anyone if you do too. <laughs> No bodice rippers for bri Pardon? Like a Harlequin romance novel. Okay. Like a, like a spicy book, Baron. Have you ever read any spicy books? Uh, no. Okay, bodice ripper is sexually explicit romantic novel or movie with a historical setting. Definitely not, then, for sure. I have definitely right. not. Yeah, oh, they have Fabio on the cover. Exactly. Oh my god, fucking Fabio. Rosard, what was the first one you ever read? We need to know for science. <laughs> Everyone remembers their first. Oh my god. <laughs> You've never read any, Rosard? 
Sorry, not Brozard. You've never read any Baron? No, I actually, I've never re read a romance novel. What? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck. Ridiculous. Come on. No, I'm yeah, really surprised up. that I haven't read something like that. Yeah? Me, the master of never seeing anything. No one read them? Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all disappoint me. Y'all are just What a bunch of fake perverts. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Okay, well, if you've read smutty fanfic, it's the same thing. Okay, then yes. <laughs> then there. Then yes, I have. <laughs> For counting smutty fanfics. I'll go on. The one that I read, I was in the fifth grade, I read Angel of Desire. It was about this girl who's a guardian angel, and she's sent to Earth to save the soul of the guy that she's the guardian of. But they end up fucking. It's like, oh no, I'm so virtuous, I would never! And then they get married and have kids. And she saves him because he makes the right decision. By not murdering someone. Oh god. It does sound like a clamp dojin. Yeah. <laughs> well, beat all the other, like, my, my mom used to come home with, uh, like, the Christian Harlequin romance novels. Oh god. Like, so they're, like, not Harlequin at all. There's, like, a different brand, but it's all entirely Christian ones. And it's like, it's okay that I feel this way because he's a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> they always end up married and having multiple kids after. Got married in a church and had 2.5 children. Yeah. And, and we stayed, uh, the, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... Celibate? Oh, not the word I'm looking for, but sure. Like, I don't understand. We, we, oh, we, we stayed, stayed oh, we stayed faithful to each other into our old age. Oh, we were monogamous. Yeah. And yelling, oh, God, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mama Balaji. How's it going? <laughs> we were just talking about reading smut. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're talking about. It's very relevant to the content of the game, I assure you. <laughs> Good God. That flowers in the attic, which isn't as smutty as you would think. Hmm. Just very dark. Oh. Well, you got my curiosity. You wouldn't like it. Not kidding, you would not like it. <laughs> it's like a whole series. Holy fuck! It had a ribbon. Four, That's five, so cute. Five, six, seven. Oh my god, there's eight books in this whole damn thing. Yeah. Great. I read three of them, I think. I read the first one, the second one, and uh, the first one that I read was actually the last one, which is the prequel to everything else, where you find out why her grandma's such a bitch. Well, I'm on the Wikipedia page, and uh, I'm getting hyperlinks for incest, modesty, puberty, uh, rape. Yep. Rat poison? What the fuck? Yep. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Like I said, you wouldn't like it. Okay, fair. How my whole body trembled as he opened his Bible and it had a ribbon. Yeah. I read Atticus. Flowers in the Attic in like grade 9, I think? <laughs> I still, it's, it's a, I, okay, so what it is is my mom rented the movie uh, and then told me I wasn't allowed to watch it. So you took that as a challenge? Yes. So I wasn't, I did, was not able to watch it. Um, yeah, yeah, there's like four or five remakes of the movie, honestly. It's been remade a whole bunch of times. Um, most of them are like super pretty and like, like, like aesthetically pleasing, I mean. Um, but yeah, so as soon as I got my hands on the book, I read it because it was in the high school library. <laughs> But 
Good book. Anyways, maybe more when I was in middle school. Aww. I mean, I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. Same, Yuri. Same. <laughs> well, some of it's nice, okay? The, the the part where they're, like, just some kids and they're putting up some flowers in the attic? That's a pretty nice part. <laughs> I do like the idea of a swan bed, though. It's very, like, um... I don't know if it was part of the book in Phantom of the Opera, but the Phantom of the Opera movie, the, the Phantom has like a swan bed for Christine. Oh. Spoilers! Okay. Hmm. So I just... It kind of felt like... Uh, please don't make me think about the past. <laughs> Sorry. I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. Really? Even if it was just between us? Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. Holy fuck. Ouch. Uh, sorry, I did. I swear I didn't mean that. You're a backstabbing little bitch. Yuri's got a mouth on her. <laughs> well, I guess it was my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past too, you know? Things I feel too embarrassed to re-experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things. It happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think that she'll likely grow out of it, too. No, she won't. <laughs> hey, were you talking about me? Um, no, we were just... Oh, we were just talking about how our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Natsuki? Um, like a couple of years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before that, but I really wasn't going hard until then. Oh yeah? What was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. I guess... Let me think... It was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah. I was just, like, really fed up with a lot of things, and I got super into this one series that I really related to. I guess I had an edgy phase where I just hated everyone around me and wanted to be by myself. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Hey, kind of like Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Sorry. That's completely wrong, so... It's still cool that you both really found your thing. They're almost like opposites, but it sounds like they helped you a lot through hard times. You know it. Hmm. Wow, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Um... <laughs> Gang up on Yuri Hour. It's technically slightly longer, but not by very much. How do you think it would go if you stacked up the whole series? Natsuki... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so one woman show now. <laughs> yeah, I'll just turn my camera off. It's gen stream now. <laughs> So big! Oh my god! No! <laughs> it's like almost the length of my arm. God. 
that sounds horrifying, actually. Ooh. You have traumatic memories. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Natsuki estimates by holding her hand high above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. I should get one of those mangas. It's like 50 volumes long, so I can say I've read more than you. <laughs> Just read one piece, and you'll guarantee to yeah. read more. Taller than Natsuki would be, for sure. Taller than most of us if you piled all of One Piece up. Yeah. Not that I have the money for that. Please, that would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know. I was just joking. I can never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Yuri shoots a glare at Natsuki. It's not boring. Chill! I said for me, not for you. I can have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Oh my god, this is supposed to be about Yuri and Monica, not, not Natsuki and Yuri. That's, I think, the next one. What the fuck? <laughs> Sayori, are those from the floor? Oh no! <laughs> She's eating floor cookies. Mmm, floor cookies. Oh. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Gross. Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands aren't dirty! Just do it. The oils are there, even if you can't see them. Fine. Sayori tr trots out the door, and Natsuki follows. There we go. About time. Dot, dot, dot! <laughs> Yori, you look a little upset. Get some milk! Enjoy, mm -hmm. enjoy that moo juice. Get milk. And then when you get back, you'll be like, got milk. Hee hee hee. What the fuck was that? <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you question what I do? <laughs> Oh my god, that sounded horrible. Uh, no offense, it's not your laugh, it just it cut out and like the it started and cut out in like the weirdest spot. So it's just like a half a second of like ah! Oh my god. What was that laugh? <laughs> I don't know, technically. I don't know. Oh I I don't think you read that last part. I did not. There we go. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? Oh my god. Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. She was so condescending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. I already understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows well how much these mean to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about it? I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. Especially in literature cl in a li literature club. So I should figure out how to mediate discussions to keep them positive and constructive. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books and also your ability to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well this is something that I'll have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help Natsuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. That then. Either way, I'll do my best. I don't know my fruits. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> the voice sounded very similar <laughs> to that theme. The TikTok audio, and then he goes, I don't know my fruits. <laughs> I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. Everyone seems to hate her so much. Like, I know that she's not the easiest person to get along with, but like, yo. She does come on girl. very strong. Some of us are just like that, okay? Some of us are just a little bit more confrontational than the average egg. Okay. <laughs> I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. Okay, everyone! We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the Literature Club is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. But that also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn our differences into positive energy for each other. Aren't you being a little bit dramatic about this? This is important to me! Oh, sorry, I just feel like I'm being accused or something. No, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Sorry if it came off that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of language, and I thought it would be a good topic for the literature club. Don't you think? Last year reminds me of a friend of my roommate's that was interested in Spanish. She was very loud and opinionated and angry all the time, but it turns just frustrated with people who only complain and don't try to work to make things better. Here, here. Hmm. Same. Yeah. I thought I had a second one celery stick. It's okay, enjoy your celery stick. Enjoy the negative calories. <laughs> also that meme, wow. <laughs> I saw that a few days ago, I think. <laughs> mm, yeah, I saw um, Ever Aqua's Discord. That'd be where I saw it then. I'm gonna find out later. It's her partner who was really quiet and detached that ended up being a spoiled brat with a victim complex that pushed away all of her friends and family. Oh no, that's an abuse tactic. Mm. Isolate them. Yeah, that's why when my friends have shitty boyfriends or partners in general, as much as I might hate being around that person, I don't let them push me away. Like, I might not like the person, but I'm just here for you, and I just want you to be happy, and you do whatever makes you happy. I'm not here to rescue you. You're an adult. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a lot of... Yeah. Me putting my own shit on there. Anyway. It's fine. Sorry, that celery stick is not negative calories because it's coated in hummus, and hummus is, like, all fat. <laughs> Maybe it balanced out. <laughs> to do with your partner. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I literally have one of my best friends coming down this weekend, and it's her and my godsons and her partner who I don't like. Oh. But he's the one who can drive, so I gotta put up with it. Yeah. Whatever. He's a quiet guy. He'll just be on a switch the whole weekend. Oh. Uh. Go and do fun things with the kids. Okay. Go to museums and whatnot. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think the kids would have a fun time at that. Oh. Maybe I could take them to the mint. They do love a good mint. Ooh. I've actually never been to the mint. Yeah. Been to Ottawa three times. No, 
four times in my whole life and I've never been to the Mint. Two of them were specifically the on trips. I've now been there five times. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so don't go to the Mint with Jen. She's seen it too many times. Yeah, not me, please. <laughs> Understood. I will go uh, on my own. Literally anyone else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I went with uh, D again. Okay. And for that, my friend from Seattle was visiting, so I took her, and then my, my mom wants to come every time she's here. Oh my god. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll make a mental note of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the kids would maybe like it. At least like the 10 year olds. I don't know if maybe the 3 year old, the 4 year old would like it, but whatever. Yeah, if it's bright and shiny in there, maybe. Oh, they got like giant piles of gold! Yeah, there you that'll, that'll uh, probably get them interested. I got some coins that glow in the dark. It's pretty fucking cool, not gonna lie. Hmm. Okay. It's fun when I go there and I'm like, oh, and I'm like talking about things they've skipped in that tour. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, this does this and that does that. And they're just like, oh, <laughs> clearly been on the tour before. I was like, yep. <laughs> like, usually I don't talk about that because I don't have time. And I was like, that is very fair. <laughs> It's like, hey, you want a part-time job at the Mint? <laughs> As a tour uh, guide? No thanks. I don't want to deal with downtown parking. Oh uh, yeah, that's fair. Downtown parking is bad everywhere. Especially bad here, though. I hate paying for parking, but you just you kind of you get used to it. Mm. Feels very American. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're going to have differences in opinion a lot, so I need to make sure we're prepared to keep. A positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so. Sure. Sure I do. <laughs> the cool thing about language is it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control over how we want the other person to feel when receiving our thoughts. We don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> this goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, Basically anything. Okay, Blizzard! Yep. We'll be here for a little bit. Well, who knows? We'll see. You know, we should be here when you get back. Yeah. Unless I suddenly get a power outage. No. Knocking on wood, I'm fine. <laughs> for example... Sayori, what's your favorite food? them organized by category. Should I start with snacks? Or do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> okay. How about your favorite fruit? Then she says, I don't know my fruit. <laughs> That's easy. Cherries. Really? I always thought cherries tasted nasty. What? <laughs> cherries are delicious! Whoa, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. They're gross. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Especially in the case. How did how does it make you feel? I don't know. Sad? That's ripe. That's ripe coming from Sayori. Um, defensive, maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. See, the reason you had such a strong reaction wasn't just because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. Tell that to the entirety of Twitter. Okay. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. I can't tell this to fucking Twitter. Everyone's gonna argue about something on Twitter. It's like, oh, hey guys, uh, I'm looking for Chinese food. Oh, so you don't like Indian food? Huh? <laughs> Stupid shit like that. <laughs> I still can't get over the whole, like, oh, I'm gonna have a Chinese. 
What? What? You're eating. What? <laughs> I did. It took me too long to understand what the fuck you meant. Oh, I'm just gonna have an Indian. What? You can't just have an Indian. That's not how it works. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Dialects are so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck they're trying to say. If I, like, have an Indian, they mean I'm going to order, ta like, Indian takeout food. Or oh. I'm going to have Indian food. Okay. That's yeah. a really weird way to say it. It's, yeah, I think for us it is. Because it's like, you, yeah, when I say I'm going to have a, and then, like, a nationality, it makes it sound like I'm having a child of that nationality. Or that you are eating a person of that nationality. Like, cannibalism, right? very Canadian way of looking at it, though. True. Yeah. Very confusing. Um, I did read this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When I say something like, I think cherries taste nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait! Hold on! How is that objective? When what you just said was only your own opinion? It has to do with the way our brains interpret the words. You're talking about the, the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. A little English lesson. Hmm. Like, Sayori, let's rewind for a second and pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if instead of that, I said, like, I've tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it's like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I've, I've never actually tried and I almost feel too scared to try at this point. It's honestly not that bad. I don't know. The internet has ruined me with thinking it's bad. So I already have that preconception in mind. I was like, ooh, what's this pizza? And then I realized it was Hawaiian after I was half slicing. Oh. I think it might just be the texture that would, would throw me off. Just the, the actual texture of the pineapple on the pizza. Not the taste, just literally how it feels as I bite down. I don't know. Something that just can't stand how it feels when I'm chewing it. Uh -huh. For a long while, I didn't really like peppers in general. I didn't just like how they, how it felt as I crunched down on some of them. Like, if, especially if they're like you know not actually like really roasted, like ro like round roasted red uh, peppers, like solid green ones on pizza, those kind of bother me. Onions on pizza still actually does bother me. Yeah. They look slightly. Yeah, maybe one day I'll just get, you know, courageous and finally try Hawaiian. Enjoy that Canadian staple! <laughs> Is that really a Canadian thing? Yeah, made in Canada. I think actually in Hamilton. Oh, Chatham. Sam Chatham? Yeah. Sam Panopoulos, Greek-born Canadian, created the first Hawaiian pizza at the Satellite Restaurant in Chatham, Ontario in 1962. Okay. Inspired in part by his experience preparing Chinese dishes... Dishes? Did, yeah, Chinese dishes. Good job, me. Which commonly mix sweet and savory flavors. Panopoulos experimented with adding pineapple, ham, bacon, and other toppings. These additions were not initially very popular. <laughs> okay. All I know about Chatham is that it's, like, apparently really, but really right-wing. Hmm. I've had friends who left, who, like, live there, and then they got out as soon as they can. 
which is interesting because Chatham Kent used to be a community where like it there was um, a fairly large black community uh, like right like like half of the city was black and half of it was white right like the segregation was still a thing yeah um, and basically all the black people got driven out because of all the racists is what I was told oh god yeah it's really interesting how there's like there's some communities like that just kind of it's like oh it's okay if there's like one or two black families in the area but like when you have larger communities it was like really actively they were they often were driven out of the area oh that's awful yeah Fun Canadian geographical information. Yes. As much as people claim we're, you know, as Canada is this great place for everyone, we still have the same issues every other country has with that kind of stuff. If not more so in some respects. I think because people don't know about it as much here. Kind of under the radar. True. We're s- slowly, slowly, uh, we're, everyone's gonna, everything's gonna get better. Just progress. Even if it's one tiny little step, it's still in the right direction. We're going forward. Definitely come a long way, though. De- definitely a long way. <laughs> oh boy, I'm pretty sure it different like 50 years ago, big time. Yeah, my friend's actually in an inter, um, I was gonna say in an intersex couple, oh my god, <laughs> in an interracial couple, and, uh, yeah, she hates going back down south where she's from, it's like, the attitude that we get, like, she doesn't like the condescending smiles that she gets here, uh... um, but she definitely is, like, a lot worse down south when she's there. Oh my god. Uh, that's spelled correctly. Yep, he is. He, he is. He capitalized prime minister as well, because that's like the, his title, kind of like you know, queen or king. But yeah, he's such a nice, friendly guy. You know, you've heard an episode of Canada's Drag Race to talk with the queens. Oh boy, I have some juicy gossip on him. He does definitely present as very outwardly friendly, and he's definitely not shy around a camera. That's for sure. Well spoken as well, but uh, there, people do have their issues with him, and then there was stuff that came up when he was younger that he did. I'm not gonna say what he did because that's enough on there, and I really don't want to say what to say it. But do you know the recent guys? Mm-hmm. You heard about him and Sophie? I I do know he is in fact uh, separating from his wife. Yeah, rumor has it that he's actually living in the suburb uh, with, like, in a house with another woman. <gasps> Ooh. So, I I think, like, I was having this discussion with someone that, like, it would be very difficult to be Sophie where you are the wife of the Prime Minister. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a lot of pressure. You're under a lot more scrutiny. Like, as children, like, your children have to have, like, security and stuff when they go to school. I imagine that being very difficult to deal with. Oh, almost assuredly. Yeah, so... Any spouse to a country's, you know, uh... You know, the head of state is probably yeah. very difficult. Like, being a pastor's wife, like, just the expectations of what your behavior is and what your home life is like is, like, way, way higher than anyone else's. And any little thing that can be mis like a scene or miscontrived is out of line will reflect poorly on your spouse too and it's like that's even more pressure it's like I'm not just worried about how I look it's how how I look is going to reflect upon them yeah but if it turns out that he was cheating on her with someone which I'm not saying he was like I don't know how long they've been separated I don't know if he's actually living with another woman like it's not my place but if it turns out that that is the case, then I can see that damaging his reputation about, like, trustworthiness yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. Plus, I want a voting referendum, and he didn't do 
do that, so. We're voting reform. <laughs> <laughs> he promised us voting reform and we didn't get it. This is bullshit. He, he promised us weed and gave us weed. <laughs> He did one, the one thing everyone, uh, not everyone, a good majority of people, I guess, wanted. I don't yeah, know. true. Like dispensaries on every freaking block now. Yeah, you see how many are down in our hometown? Yeah, it's so much more expensive there than it is in Ottawa, though. Because uh, they get all the Americans. Yeah. So the Americans come over to do it while it's legal there. Hoping, praying that they don't get drug tested on the border back. Yeah, praying and hoping, and they have to have to erect signs that said, "No, you can't bring it over the border with you going back home." <laughs> uh, Zurash and I were going to Amsterdam for like a like a business meeting. Like he was going to a what, you, what would you call it a conference? Okay. Um, and we. Originally, we ended up missing our flight to Montreal, but uh, so we had to drive to Montreal. But originally, in our bags, like in Alex's coat or in a bag or something, our vape with weed in it, like with weed still in it, was in our fucking bags. <laughs> <laughs> so we very, very nearly accidentally tried to go through customs with a packed vape. Oh my god. Thank God we didn't. Like, I know it's like, oh, we're only going to Amsterdam where it's legal here and it's legal there, but because it's an international flight, you aren't allowed to have any of it on you. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't believe you ever cut yourself so cleanly you don't know you're bleeding for three minutes. Yep. Yep. Sorry, that was for you. Wait, no, it wasn't. Haha! <laughs> okay. I think so. You already said this one already. Uh, I don't think I said this one, so I'll just say it again. Oh. As long as you don't call them nasty. You're nasty boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nasty is a nasty word. Say the word nasty again, please. Nasty. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Charis was kind of a weird example. I think it gets the point across. This time around, instead of talking about the Charis, I just talked about my feelings and Sayori didn't get defensive. So instead of clashing with each other, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our differences. Yori, you don't need to take notes. I'm not gonna quiz you or something. <laughs> that I was just hmm, how to socially interact with others ah. <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to call you out you can do whatever you'd like but does anyone have any thoughts so far yeah I just feel like I shouldn't have to put all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to other people. I'm only suggesting it as a tool to help turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, cherry hater. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she is. She's like, oh, this PC culture, I can't say what I want to say anymore. Even if it's calling someone a big, dumb poo-poo head, they deserve to know. How dare you! <laughs> so, uh, you're free to say whatever you want, but they're free to, you know, take that however they want and retaliate as such. Yeah, social consequences are, in fact, not constitutional right. Or freedom from social consequences. Back in my day, no one called me on my blatant racism. It was endearing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Say a free. 
actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I was like, I was so hurt. I've been duped! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. Get you some cherry Garcia ice cream or some bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, never more. <laughs> Oh my god, I called it. How about a cherry sundae? <laughs> oh my god. You're welcome to do me anytime, my beloved president. Buying your people's loyalty. How deplorable. Oh, like you wouldn't turn out a free sundae, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. <laughs> that was... I mean... I was reading and not keeping track of them. Oh, so she ate a few. <laughs> Probably more oh, than that's enough. We're getting off topic. Hot topic! So now that we have the gist of it, how about we try it with something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? Oh ho ho! Mm. Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Yuri, do you want to start? Uh, well, I'd rather not. No. Oh, how come? And it's an ad. Yeah, I see it. Dad's been watching that. Is it a TV show? I thought it was a movie. Uh, I think it's a TV show. It was a, it was or currently is a video. It actually, is a game. Yeah, it is a video so game. Pretty sure it's a show. Probably yeah. on Prime or Crave, one of the two. Yeah. It's on some streaming service. I don't know. The the, the clown one seems really out of character from what I've seen and overheard in the other room. He's supposed to be someone that just kills for the sake yeah. of killing, and all I'm getting from what I overheard is him just being like a like a jolly gang leader type thing. He's just kind of like a normal person. He just wears a clown mask. No, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because of my fear of clowns, but I think in the actual like video games, yeah, he's like really fucking. He's a psychotic ice cream man was an ice cream man then had a psychotic break and now just starts murdering everyone the first people he murdered were his, was his own wife and daughter Ew. yeah not a fan yeah nope oh, ad's over yep well because I don't see how anything productive can come from that that's my line <laughs> <laughs> Legit! When I'm like, I don't really want to talk about this more, I'm like, I don't feel like this is going to be a productive conversation. Like, that's my way of saying this is just going to end in a fight, so like, I don't even want to bother. Okay. It's just going to start a fight. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. Miss does not know how to deal with conflict. Yeah, this could only go well. <laughs> Let's just have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. Not a child, you don't have to coddle my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. Respectable. Yuri's expression changes at that word. As Monica recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like... <laughs> it's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. 
I just prefer more depth and nuance in my reading materials. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Oh, well that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were going to say the manga's for children or something. Like, I don't hear enough of that. <laughs> but there's plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. What? Are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Same well, now you just didn't sure. call her childish, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me? Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Because if you imply that manga is immature, then aren't you implying that someone is immature for being into it? I... <laughs> oh my god! Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. That's the key! Nobody is immature! I've read Natsuki's manga and Yuri's fantasy, and I love them both in their own way! Okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. <laughs> She means objective because saying something boring is explicitly subjective. <laughs> okay, it bores me. That's subjective. What? I mean, the thing about. This is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? I knew it was just gonna make people upset. I'm not upset! Like I said, I don't care what other people think! But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me, so I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. That's not true at all. You're making assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked in the mirror? Tell me again about respect after calling all of my interests immature. <laughs> you can't. Please stop. Please. You don't mean the things you're saying right now. Let's just be friends. <sighs> so many ellipses. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and solve other people's problems next time, okay? Oof. Yuri's piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. She leaves. Never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you weren't very nice either, so... I was just saying. How did this happen? It's my fault. 
Yuri wasn't wrong. I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict when I know how bad I am at dealing with conflicts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> It was a really stupid thing for me to do. It's nobody's fault. And it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. Well, except for Yuri. <laughs> but I guess we're sensitive about the things we really love. <laughs> Honestly. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, she kind of brought it up herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're not in a manga, but if you actually look down on other people for it? That's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. Well, you failed spectacularly. It's not about sugarcoating things, it's just... It's about just recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. So I see what you were trying to do, but I really think the problem here is her, not just like the way we talk to each other, All right? I mean... Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It's be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow, I'm just like saying that instinctively. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out. <laughs> because I can just move on now. But... Mm. It's fine. I promise. It's not fine. Let's just get our minds off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding Yuri's superiority complex. <laughs> oh my god. Don't be mean. I'll talk or read manga or whatever you want, but don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answers, but I at least know that we're all good people and don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Monica says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Natsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other the least out of anyone, and this is the reason. As Sayori and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Will the club really have to just come to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other? Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, a solution doesn't seem to be in sight. Oh, Nelly! Good for the second part, or...? I don't think so. No? Okay.
No. So we, how much do we have? We have the Natsuki and Yuri one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're yeah. getting pretty close. Let's see. Yeah, next week is looking pretty open, so we should be good to finish that next week. Okay. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll, I'll message you later what my schedule looks like that week. Yep. Go from there. Okay. Do you want to check out the music? You might yeah. know what song. It's probably a Yuri one. Uh, You're better at remembering what are the new song. Oh, uh, no. Um. So let's teamwork. Or just a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't mark what's brand new in here. Yeah. I feel like your it might reality, be- Your reality, maybe? <laughs> yes, your reality. <laughs> totally your <laughs> reality. The, You're your... talking a lot about how they have like, different experiences and different realities. Jen. Your reality is- Monica. That song. From the end of the game. How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it's thanks, Nevermore. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming by, Nevermore. Have yourself a good you night. <laughs> yeah, I think we should be able to finish this in one more stream, though. Uh, Hypothetically. Uh, remember, we unlocked the seventh and last one after we finished these. Uh Oh, yeah. So we okay. could potentially do Reflection Part 2 and Self-Love in its entirety in one stream, and then one yeah. last one for the final. Yeah, I think we could do that. Okay. If we have a day where I'm not sick, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yeah. We and can even probably start a little working. earlier, too, if we really want to. Mm. But it's hard because, like, I already have enough hard time. I was like, oh, we're going to start at 7 today. I'll definitely be done eating by then. Nope. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's okay nomming on stream. I do it sometimes, too. I never feel like I see you do it. It doesn't happen very often, but I do do it. Like, I think the other day, I actually had my McDonald's in front of me as I was streaming. I was just occasionally just chewing on the fries. <laughs> Ready. I have 33,500 uh, bananas, just FYI. Very important. Alright, nice. nice Ooh, wait, do you still have watch time? Watch time? I sh that should be on here. That should be a command. Apparently not. Huh. Apparently I don't have watch time anymore. Does my pen Thought I did. I know I have follow age. Yeah, my follow age isn't accurate, though. Yeah, I know, because you unfollowed, tried to follow again to get your name to appear. <laughs> I wanted my name to appear. But from what this says, you've been following for two years, six months, two weeks, six days, six hours, 58 minutes, and 27 seconds. That's a lot of six. Yep. Oh, that didn't work for Brozart, though. Ah. Brozart's been following for longer than I have. It's the cooldown. Ah. Uh, Oh. I don't think I changed the cooldown for follow age. It's probably like 30 seconds or something. I swear, what is my... F I, if I have a follow age, I would laugh my ass off. The butt's going to be able to blast... Has <laughs> blast everything! <laughs> Oh my Ooh, god. So close, Brozard. So close. <laughs> now, I, now I wonder. Oh. I gotta wait a little bit longer, Nevermore. Just a little bit longer. Yeah, three months off. You were playing something recently. Was it the Power Wash game? Power Wash Sim. I saw uh, someone playing that on like TikTok. Mm hmm. It was so funny. It was him and how he power washes versus his wife. His wife had like beautiful blocks and was just doing it in like such a methodical way. Mm -hmm. And he would just go and like just do squiggles everywhere. 
<laughs> really? Is it really? Rosewood, I would have thought that yours would have been older than mine with like how long, like it seemed like Aqua was pretty well established and had like a fairly Yeah, you can try now never more. Faith. Three months, two weeks, four days, 33 minutes, 42 seconds. Yeah, it was only been three months. I don't think I really chatted all yet today. Yeah, I definitely didn't. <laughs> yeah, it really does feel like forever. Okay, well, feels like no time at all either at the same time. Well, follow age work for me. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I am not following myself because I can't. But you can, you're subscribed to yourself forever, tier three. That's like the biggest support you can do. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I created my account uh, in 2014. I know exactly why I created this account. Is it for nags? No, I only found about nags uh, around the time you started streaming. Huh? Yeah. So that was like 2020. I created this account because it was Twitch Plays Pokemon! It was in the heyday! Oh yeah! Yeah, that's when I created mine. I wanted to be part of that for a bit while I was between uh, classes in uh, college. You and the guys used to play that often. Oh yeah, we watched it. It was fun. I, I kind of wish I was into Twitch more when they're having the big Power Rangers marathon. I would have loved to have gotten those Power Ranger exclusive emotes. Can't anymore, though. They're just not a thing. All that's left is the Morphin Time Lightning Bolt as a global emote. I would... You'd have to program it, right? So I'm just thinking about the logistics of like a Twitch Plays kind of thing. Yeah, it's definitely... It definitely takes a little bit of a pro... I mean, by now it's very easy, because people have done multiple things for that. Hell, I watched, uh, literally as part of one of Nag's streams he was doing, it was him and another streamer playing Mario Party, but the Player 3 and Player 4 were controlled by the chats, uh, by our chats. So just whatever the fuck chat was typing in, that would control player three. Whatever his chat was typing, control player four. And it worked surprisingly well. As chaotic as it seems. <laughs> so by now it's easy, but who knows back then. Like, the one that really is neat is like getting your fish to play Pokemon. Like I've seen that a few times. Getting a fish to play Pokemon and they actually beat it too. Just on where it swims, like that takes a lot to really program. You need sensors and crap. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. Okay. Pitch plays Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> I think I have a hard enough time getting chat to just make decisions and meditating some games for me, so. <laughs> and so I do coin flips and random number generators if stuff happens. <laughs> if, if, if just there's not enough people piping up. They got that plan B. <laughs> yeah. My plan B is, okay, I'm doing what I want. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh man. That would be nice to get one where I could do that. If I take your so, yeah, I realized I didn't stream like at all on my own channel like this summer. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have time. Too busy. Yeah. Sorry, that sounds like a lot of like. This is it would be the shittiest self promo ever, but I feel like it also still sounds like self promo. It's fine. <laughs> You're like I don't stream. <laughs> Life happened. It took yeah. priority. 
One of my favorite streamers, you know Wiz, Wizard of the Sea. Mm -hmm. He's not streaming either ever since he moved with his girlfriend and it makes me sad. Yeah, I, was, I haven't seen any notifications from his server like at all about him streaming. Oh yeah, no, because he, he moved in, they moved in together and he hasn't streamed at all. Someone brought it up last week and it's just great. Huh. Yeah. yeah, but they they uploaded like some vacation photo of them or something. It was really cute. Okay. Well, who knows? Maybe he'll have a comeback again. Oh, he's gotta follow him on Twitter for all his hot takes. <laughs> oh, and now people are just taking pictures of different monkeys and frogs and animals and saying, oh, this, look it, I found wizard in the wild. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so it's fine, it's all good. <laughs> simpin', I can't help it, I'm just simpin'. You just simpin'? I did make that an emote in the Discord. Okay, let me check this. Let's see, let me simp for a sec. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah, all the ones you, you recommended I put on there. You could have put your own, like, like other ones, too. You I look did. up, like, Doki Doki, there's a bunch. Yeah, I put the up, Doki like... Doki ones in. Yeah. I'm still thinking of more I could do. It's just, those are there, at least now. At least I have more. You like the Woody one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, fucking Woody. God. I almost want to get Rebel Tech Woody just so I can have creepy, uh, because the creepy faced, uh, Woody. <laughs> It's so mean to right know. Hand hand. <laughs> I haven't actually bought an actual figure that wasn't a model kit in a while. Too expensive now. Way too expensive. Well, Zirash started making his, uh, a Gundam last week. Oh! Yeah, because I think he's. I think he, you've given him one as a gift, and then an ex of mine also gave him one as a gift. Maybe. Uh, I know I gave you and him uh, the God Gundam and Nobel Gundam, but I built those. Yeah, yeah. those yeah. are hanging up in my little my little magical girl area. Mm -hmm. I have them up here somewhere. Oh yeah, they're right over there. He's still holding her. Um, Perfect. But. Okay, it must have been our other friend. Either way, he got two Gundams for his birthday last year. <laughs> okay. And then I also got him a Charmander one, like, a little... Like, they're not Gundams, but... It's like the Eevees I got you? Yeah, 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 but it's like a Charmander. I wanted him... I, I was gonna get it, because I have the Eevee in my display case. Um, yeah, I got the two Eevees. But I got him a Charmander to be, like, a little desk buddy. Okay. <laughs> Need to stream Tears of the Kingdom and get a thousand pieces of poop. Yeah! Oh my god. Is that directed to me or Jen Brozard? Because I feel like right. one of us could have an easier time in one aspect while the other have an easier time the other way. I've really played Tears of the Kingdom. I like just got my little bird buddy. And we're just about to head up to the Sky Temple. That's how little I have played this game. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me. Yeah, I guess I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't touched any Legend of Zelda ever. Being closed down into ever. Geek boy. Yeah, I know I'm a fake geek boy. <laughs> okay, you think I, I hear shit from PJ every time I say I've never played a Zelda game whenever she plays a Zelda game. <laughs> you know, at least Nichols tried. Nichols has tried a couple of them, and she just doesn't like any of them. That's fair. I find it so interesting, because Breath of the Wild really seems like the kind of game that Nichols would like. But, no, no dice. Maybe because it's a little too open? Possibly? Uh, it could just be too open that it's too, you know... Uh, Overwhelming. It's like, okay, I know I could go here, but where is that? How do I really actually get there? Mm. I mean, yeah. Breath of the Wild is huge. So that map is giant. 
What I don't like about Tears of the Kingdom is all the freaking collectibles. Like, oh, there's 40 wells. Collect the wells. What? Why? Guess I've never played any Zelda game. Go ahead, judge me. Everyone else does. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Fun question of the day, other than what everyone has eaten. Okay. Uh, what is your fictional character crush? Does my pen only ooh. write bitter words for those who are dear to me? <laughs> Excuse me. Easy McGee is not an answer. Is <laughs> if I tell the story, is it love? If I set you free? Oh, Michiru! She's so cute. Um, I don't really care, nevermore. I just said that the question is just a fictional character. Uh, Brozard, you can't answer for me. How can I yeah, you can. How does that work? If you could just say, obviously, Baron's answer is Michiru. Da -da -da -da! No, he's wrong. He's wrong. Uh, the answer is... Lily, forever and always. Okay, Kato Shoujo, Lily Sato, just... Oh, we were thinking of very different Michirus. What Michiru were you thinking of? Um, I thought it was a character from Steins Gate. Give I think a it's second. Mayur I think it's Mayuri. She goes doo -doo -doo. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with <laughs> Nevermore's gotta narrow down the list. Most of us haven't heard of mine. Sarah Kaito from Space Brothers. Let's see if I've even seen that Just move your hand right the way into his heart. Hmm. Yeah, never even heard of Space Brothers. Uchu Kyodai. Yeah, her name is Mayuri. God damn it, I always think her name is Michiru. <laughs> oh. Oh, Michiru's just the airhead from Grisaya. The pseudo Sundere. <laughs> God, I'm almost done with Grisaya, too. My god. It's only been two years. A year? <laughs> only been, like, uh, over a year now. We, we passed the year mark. Easily. It's gonna be done soon. Like, in the last two, three scenes of Sakakino. I'm, about to, I'm, I'm getting close to making a choice, I believe, based off of just names of scenes. Is great. It's a hard recommend because it's 99 episodes and the manga is still go. Okay. Okay, so Jen, what's yours? Hmm? <sighs> I mean, it's really difficult because I started watching anime when I was like five. So, thing the guys that I liked when I was like 13 are no longer appropriate for me to like. Nice. And everyone's gonna be like, she's cancelled, she's cancelled. Harley Quinn, Joker, Thorin 2, da -da 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 -da, Laura Croft, Frank Doyle. Mine, my current one right now is I just yesterday, this is really recent, because um, it used to be Milo from Atlantis, but then I rewatched Atlantis last year. Uh -huh. And he's like such like a fucking last samurai avatar Pocahontas John Smith bullshit character <laughs> that like I can't I can't be into it anymore. Um, obviously, me as a child did not know that. I was just like, ooh, Twinkie guy with glasses. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my current one is I started watching My Happy Marriage yesterday because Netflix is very good at targeted ads and. Mm -hmm. I watched the first four episodes, and it's so good. And the guy that she marries is so sweet. He's not my type usually, like, because he has, like, got very long white hair. Um, and 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Usually it's just physically he's not my thing. He doesn't have glasses. He has white hair. It's not my thing. But, but, mm -hmm. he's the sweetest man ever and I love him. <laughs> She's got so much trauma and he's just like, oh, I'm just going to spoil her and let her know that she's really loved and that I like really care about her. And then he like finds out like how bad her trauma is from like a PI and he's like, well, shit, that ain't going to solve anything let me make her family apologize for the abuse and all that stuff oh my god it's so good okay. get you a man who will fight for you like him okay actually frankie does the ex character that made me realize i'm five more likely is the fact that i crushed hard on angelina jolie half my life my crush on frankie was so intense that i couldn't delude myself that i was straight for any longer okay She's like a fun character. I don't think, like, yeah, not into women, so it wasn't into her, but like, you go for it. I get the appeal. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Those are just a band. The two girls from Tattoo, that Russian band. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Beautiful. Perfection. unless the characters are half my age and ick and being fair. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of like, older workplace animes or anything like that. Or like, they're they're vampires and they look 12, but they're 312. It's like, uh, yeah. I'm really tired of that. <sighs> not where characters are just a, I enjoy as opposed to some... So, so they weren't straight they like both ended up marrying women i know one of them has come out as being a little bit like pretty homophobic at least towards gay men but the other one said that there was that she is bi let me look this up because i remember being super into them in high school and like wondering what was going on are you talking about wotakoi wizard Ice guy and his cool female colleague. Watakoi is also great. That is the ice guy and his cool female colleague. Hmm. Oh, because Yulia, with the dark brown hair, said that she wouldn't accept a gay son. So she is, like, yeah, homophobic. Mm. Yeah, that's troublesome. Oh, this has got an anime adaptation. Oh. They literally have a song called Mauchi Gay, which is gay boyfriend in <laughs> Russian. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta. When you said like a cute fluff anime or whatever in an office, my mind immediately went to my senpai is annoying. It definitely seemed like fluff to me. The ice guy and his cool female colleague. I feel like I've seen the art for that. Oh no! That sucks. <sighs> the duo performed before the opening ceremony of the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. My senpai is annoying. Really have fun with it without thinking too much about it. I, f I'll be honest. I feel like I, I, I definitely like had something similar enough of a dynamic like this with one of my coworkers back at the arcade, just because they were just that much smaller and they were constantly, you just. Uh, if people kept thinking they actually were a child, like, no, I'm 20. <laughs> Just every time. They thought they literally thought they were a child, I was like, no, they're 20. And I, 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 was, I was just like, you know, I'd pester the shit out of them. I mean, they would also pester the shit out of me. They would always just hit a back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I really, 
I, I, I kind of want to actually watch my senpai's annoying for the hell of it, or even read it. I don't read a lot of shit. I want to try to read a lot of shit. <laughs> I mean, my freaking light novel shelf is still full of stuff I haven't read through yet. Probably if I was 40 friend, I'm really not cool with how they're handling things. Oh, oh wait, oh, wah, wah. Okay then, uh... Huh. Oh my god, it's still going. I thought it would have been done by now, because they got a, you know, an anime adaptation. No, apparently it's... Is it still going? Jesus, it's still running. Huh. I didn't think the manga would still be going by now. Going five years strong. Damn. on this tattoo thing, okay? Uh. <laughs> this was the recording of their third studio album, Dangerous and Moving. It was announced that Volkova, that's the one with dark hair, was pregnant. This led to critics accusing the girls of being fake with regard to the impression that they were lesbians, although Katina and Volko Volkova had said in the past they were not together or in a relationship. The group up appeared, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, what a lot of like sexy girl things um but basically the women like hate each other and they will not be in the same room for, like any me they did like a music video but they filmed it separately oh yeah wow oh 100 percent. it was <laughs> they were always queer baiting in terms of they were not in a relationship but i from my under well okay it's kind of difficult because they're from russia they live in russia like it's illegal for them to be gay there. So I did start they're both married to men. But from things that I remember reading in high school that Lena, the one with the red hair, um, is bi and that the other one is not. Mm. But yeah, it it was it was a hundred percent queer baiting. But that does not mean that it did not stir feelings. It was a great, great song, great, great video. It's a good time. So pretty. I'm just gonna fall for this. Um, but I'm gonna go walk the dog. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Jen, for doing this. I'm glad you're feeling a little better. Thanks. Me too. It is. Yeah. It's, it's really ironic. Yeah, I'll, uh, I will message you later with my schedule so we can figure out uh, when we'll do this and finish this off next. You can see, but I gave you a thumbs up. I could feel it in my very soul. Okay, I'm <laughs> uh, Have a great night, everyone. You too. Bye. 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 Well, that's just us, chat. So let's go to just chatting now. Okay. Fun times as always. <laughs> I always have fun with Jen. And also, I kind of like that we left off at part one there. It feels nice. It's like a nice little cliffhanger before the next one. I, I, I like the cliffhangers. <laughs> Need more stale anime recommendations? Nah, fam. I'm good. I got... I got stale recommendations for days. I just gotta, you know, keep uh, go actually clicking on the emails Crunchyroll sends me <laughs> about, hey, check out this anime. <laughs> it's like, no, sorry. I will continue to watch the same things I always watch. <laughs> if you have Crunchyroll, Space Brothers should still be on there. Watch the first episode, you know, if you'll like it or not. Okay. Try to actually remember. Oh, also, anyone who is in the Discord, or just in general, if you have any suggestions for what to watch for the next uh, uh, Discord watch along, please, by all means, throw it in there. Because I'm not 100% sure what to watch next after we finish Common Rider Gaim and also watch Romeo plus Juliet. 
Yeah, I know Sweaters is live. It's just, it says I have one viewer, but I guess I'll just, yeah, fuck it. I'll just, I'll raid into Sweaters. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Oh, she's VTubing today. She's got PJ Tuber up. Okay, I absolutely have to. I have to now. <laughs> She's Peach Tuber right now. I have to. I, I have to. Absolutely. Well, before I go, uh, uh, schedule for tomorrow at six o'clock. We'll be doing Power Wash Sim. So I'll just be continuing on with uh, the uh, whatever the detached house was. I think uh, right now I've got the back porch and most of the roof left to go for that one and we'll see where that takes us but that will be tomorrow at about six ish it, it, i i don't know twitch's analytics for this shit is always all over the place and weird oh now it's saying i have at least two so that's something okay yeah it's lying to me this shit never, never makes any sense all right, we got our good old raid commands. So yeah, we're gonna raid good old PJ sweaters. And also, guys, uh, Friday, the Gunpla and Chill stream, building the Pixie Fred Reaver custom, the one PJ's custom character uses. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> that just works out. So, thank you again, everyone, you know, for watching, commenting, lurking, and thank you again, Jan, for being the awesome, uh, awesome, awesome co-host, as always, for this. Absolutely amazing, and you did a whole bunch of the voice acting today, and I applaud you for it. You did amazing, as always. You look absolutely fantastic. So, I hope everyone has themselves a great rest of their night, and let's send some love to PJ.